hello guys welcome to solving solutions on my own channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven your class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use ArcGIS pro to calculate your topographic wetness index right good now we add a note in our previous video where we have used them ArcGIS to perform the same tax right good so without further ado let's come back to the ArcGIS Pro so the first thing is for us to fill our digital elevation model so we still come back to geoprocessing in our toolboxes we come down to the special analyst tools under which we check for hydrology and then we double click fill right good so it fills our dam so we use the drop down to select the projected digital elevation model and then we have also told you that it's also better to use um, a data set that's a digital elevation model that the CRS is projected right good so that's why you have the projected underscore them then the output we leave it at the default there and then we leave the Z limit empty always ensure to use the information icon here to see more information about each of the parameters right good so let's click on run good so the filling of them is completed we can decide to put this out so that we can have only what the field them the next part of the tutorial is for us to now calculate what the flow direction so we still open that up it is still under what the hydrology so we open that up then the input parameters the input surface raster will now be what our field them then by default we have this as what the output um, flow direction raster and then the flow direction type we are using what the d8 remember to always use information to see what the the description of each of the parameters and then we click on run good so the flow direction is completed we can also come back and then this time around we now calculate what the flow accumulation of which the flow direction raster we just calculated will be an input and then if you have the input weight raster you just then um, provide and if you don't you continue to click on run good so we have from the note we are using where we have the natural logarithm of a divided by tan b right good so we are the a is the upslope contributing area per unit width derived from the flow accumulation right good whereas what the b is the local slope angle calculated from the digital elevation model so the flow accumulation is also calculated from the digital elevation model right good so we have gotten the flow accumulation the next part of what we want to get is what the slope right good as the local slope which is b so we close hydrology and then we come up to surfaces or surface and then we click on slope so the input raster for slope will be what the field them and then the output measurement will be what in degrees right good so we click on run good so the slope has been calculated however for the twi we need our slope in what in radians right good so we need to convert this our slope in degrees to what to radians so we need to open what the raster calculator so we have um, the raster calculator out we need to keep it um, floating so what are we converting the slope right good so this is the slope and now for you to convert from um, degrees to radians you need to multiply the value in degrees by what pi over 180 right good so we have that value to be okay so pi over 180 so we have equal to pi right good we close that out divided by 180 so this is the value right we can decide to copy this value and then we paste it here right good so with this value we are actually converting our slope in degrees to what to radians so let's um 
give a short note here slope underscore radians so we have um, slope underscore radians and then we click on run good so we have our output in what in radians then before we proceed to the final part of the twi we now need to find the tan of what our sloping radians right good because um, that according to the formula we have um, tan b right good so now b is the slope so we need to now find the tangent of what b right good so still come back here we clear this out and then from our tools we look out for tan under trigonometric so we have this and then tan the sloping radians right good so we have what we have tan underscore sloping radians right good and then um, we click on run very good so we have um, the tan of our sloping radians outputted we can now finally calculate what the twi which is a combination of all of the expressions that we have had earlier so the twi according to our note will now be what the natural logarithm of um, a over tan b where a is the, what the flow accumulation and then we have also gotten tan b which is what tan of the local slope right so we still come up to the raster calculator and then still under these tools we have the natural log here and then we now have um, the flow accumulation which is this then it is being divided by the tan of the slope in radians right good finally we can turn this um, twi right good we have the twi because that is what the climax of whatever we are doing so the expression the natural logarithm into the flow accumulation divided by what the tan of the slope in radians according to what we have here right good so i haven't done that we can decide to run good so let's now dock our calculator back and then we now have our twi outputted we can decide to modify the symbology so that um, we have um, a better visualization of the results right good so it's having this black and white color scheme let's use um, a different color scheme okay this is good now from the range of values we have we have values ranging from 0.7 to 14 right good we are um 14 higher values right good higher values shows um higher twi which shows that there are tendencies for what um higher water saturation at those places right good whereas lower values um shows um lower twi and then shows what um lower chances of um water saturation and then the higher the value the higher the chances of maybe having some water related phenomena like flood and all of that right good so this is just um, a general walkthrough on how to use um rgs pro to calculate your twi which has um, given us a scale from 0 0.7 to 14 that we can interpret as what um, higher and then lower water saturation as the case may be so we have shown you on today's tutorial how to use um, ArcGIS Pro to um, carry out your TWI calculation and then we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye